And the biggest mistake is concept. Okay, Kurt. There's no running and chasing with you and your twin flame. She always wants to be around you. I mean, she's on your YouTube channel making videos with you, for God's sake. How did you do it? Right. You want to know how I did it. I'm never trying to figure it out. I'm so zen all the time. And side note, we, we kind of talked about this <clears throat> on the group coaching call today, my, you know, my paid coaching program. And one of my students, she goes, yeah, like I'm having a hard time staying focused now, like getting my work done and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I call that, you know, Zen problems. I got Zen problems. <laughs> you know, you guys maybe have heard Eckhart Tolle talk about, if, if you've watched any of his videos, he's talking about like, yeah, like, The people that I work with, he's he'll be talking about his his yeah you know like like PR manager you know whoever helps him like run his YouTube channel or you know he's doing like live appearances whoever he works with his agent I think is what you would call that you know they'll email him a bunch of times and he doesn't answer and maybe they'll text him and he doesn't answer and and it's not because he's being mean it's because he's so like unplugged from the ego and the I gotta get this stuff done and I gotta get through all the things and uh, you know and then finally his agents you know they just giggle oh, it's Eckhart all right so they get in their car and they drive to his house and they knock on the door and of course when he sees them at his door, he's delighted that they came to pay him a visit. But do you see like where he's at? And it's not where his head is at. It's He's not in his head at all. And he's not a doofus at all. He was like, like a college professor, I think, in his previous life. You know what I mean? He's a really intelligent person. But he's not in that ego state, the, the, the separate self, the ego, the, the, the personality, right? He's not in that ego state. He's not in separation. And if you're new to this channel, just start watching my videos because that word doesn't mean what you think it means. Separation is the mental state. There's a, I'll, there's a video down below. I'll link it for you about separation consciousness and union, where that word came from. I already made a video about that, but you guys, I'm just, I'm not checked out, I'm checked in. That's the thing, is the ego is checked out. It's unconscious, it's separation. And it's always in a frenzy. You're trying to get through all the twin flame stages or whatever. There's no stages. You can go watch my Twin Flames Myths video. I'll link that down below for you too. There's no stages. But that's the thing is all of those myths, that's the point that I made in that video is it's all mind stuff. That's the whole problem. That's the big mistake that this video is about. And so back to my student in the call, yeah, I told her about Eckhart Tolle, the example I just gave you. He's not ignoring emails and phone calls and stuff. He's just Zen. It's perfect. And it is actually kind of a problem in a way <laughs> when you think about like 
somebody who's in this non-mental state where you still have a life and you got to still get stuff done and stuff. It is kind of distracting. It's true. And I find myself experiencing that. You know, my email inbox, <laughs> dude, and when it gets really backed up, when there's like 30 emails in there, then that's when my ego does go, hey, God damn it. You really got to answer some emails, Kurt. <laughs> that does happen when it gets to be like 30 emails. And then I'll like, <sighs> okay, God damn it. You know, I'll like work on a Sunday or something. I don't like to work Sundays, but it's like, all right. And then I'll just, I'll get them all done all at once or something, you know. Because it is, it's just, it is like being this Zen, being this detached from the mind it is very distracting <laughs> from like th the 3D world and all the stuff that you got to do. And that's the thing, you guys, is with your other self, your, your twin flame, they are you, your other self, right? Go watch my video called What Are Twin Flames? Go check it out. I'll link it down below for you as well. Yeah, like I'm in this soul place, this soul space. And it's not a place that you get to either. And, you know, again, everybody wants to know, Kurt, how did you do it? It's not a doing. I'm not trying to do anything or maintain anything. That was the whole problem. And that's all the illusion of self. That's the ego, it's a projection on a screen. The mind, the ego, this thinking and this f emoting too. And it's this sensation of absence, like something is missing and you're seeking and searching, but that's not really you that's seeking and searching. You are not that. You're not the seeker. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying thinking is bad. I'm not saying questions are bad. And I'm not saying emotion is bad. And if I did say that it was bad, that wouldn't be me. That would be the ego. That would be the separate self. Separate self as in separation. Hmm. Why does Kurt keep using the word separation in this weird context? I thought separation was a relationship status with my twin flame. Yeah, that's what you thought it was. That's what everybody on the internet says it is. H how did I get here? The world's number one twin flame coach. How did I get here? My twin flame won't leave me alone. How did I get here? I'm just saying. I'm not trying to brag, but guys, really, you got to ask yourself, how did I do it? Well, not by listening to the stuff on the internet. That's all concept. Concept is fine, but I am checked in. I am checked in. The ego is gonna say I'm checked out. But you are not that, and you never were. And to get where I am, you have to stop trying to get here. <clears throat> if I have thing, like a rock, and I have nothing, a vacuum, empty space, I've got exists and does not exist. It's it's, it's emptiness. There's nothing there. It's nothing. Is there anything there that exists? Well, no. The, the rock exists. It's tangible. But this is a place. I guess you could call that existing. 
but it's emptiness. It's just a place. It's empty. It's a vacuum. It's a void. But still, we can conceptualize with our mind. It's a place. It's empty space. And then you've got this object. And that's really easy to conceptualize. So I've got thing and nothing. I've got exists and does not exist. What do you got when you have neither of those? Think about it. Or can you think about it? And you can't say nothing. Thing, nothing. What do you have when you have neither? And you can't say nothing. And the mind always wants to default to that visualization of emptiness. But that's one of the things that you can't pick. Duality, relativity, science and spiritualism. This is where they meet, you guys. This is where they are one. Thing, nothing. Duality, relativity. The whole universe. But what do you have when you have neither? Hmm... If you go ask a physicist, where did the Big Bang happen? Where did that take place? They're going to say, well, yeah, about that. Uh, we don't have a way to answer that question. And you're like, what? You don't know? What do you mean? And the scientist is going to go, well, it's not that we don't know. It's just that. Before the Big Bang, there was no such thing as place. There was no up, there was no down, there was no side to side. So there was not nothing, and there was not thing. So, Kurt, for my twin flame, I don't feel good and I don't feel bad about them. I've heard you say that. I've heard you explain this. Can you please explain? No, I cannot. Why? An explanation is a thought. It's a concept. So, can you get to where I am? Can you achieve that? I am this. I gotta be that. I am yin. I gotta be yang. Not quite. Not quite, my friend. And this is why the spiritual teacher refers to this teaching that I'm explaining to you right now as non-duality. It's non-duality. It's the source. In science, they just call it a singularity, but we're all talking about the same thing. It's single. It's non-dual. How to get where you are trying to go, you just have to get really good at being right where you are right now all the time. You already are a soul. And you don't think your way there. You don't rearrange the thoughts in your mind either. You guys have heard me say that a million times. You cannot heal your way into the soul. Healing is fine, but that's psychology rearranging or changing the patterns of thought in your mind will not help you to remember that you are neither thing nor nothing. I hope you just had a big aha moment. You are your twin flame, guys. And so much so that you can physically see that now. If you knew who you were in your one of your previous incarnations, what they call a past life, which technically could be in the future, right? Remember, time is not linear. Again, go watch my What Are Twin Flames video. Whatever, your past life. It could be 100 years in the future. It could be 100 years in the past, whatever. 
So you know who you used to be in your previous life. And you have a time machine. You get in the time machine and you go there and you meet whoever that person was, your past life. Right? You meet them. Are you guys the same soul? Yeah, you are. Right. What do you think your twin flame is? And the internet has got this big romanticized thing built up around it. And all it really is, is reincarnation. Now, what everybody says on the internet is that twin flames are the same soul. And that's true. But then they're telling you all this different stuff to do. Well, how can that be? If we all agree about what twin flames are, why is everybody telling me to do different stuff? And I'm over here going, it's your soul, dude. And by the way, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We already know about reincarnation. By the way, these are example birth years. There doesn't need to be an age gap between you and your twin flame. They could be older, younger, or the same age. It doesn't matter. Those are just examples. So yeah, it is true. Twin flames are the same soul. And we even know what the mechanism is. It's called reincarnation. But how to get the running and chasing to stop? Right. There is no running and chasing. It's all just you, you guys. When you see your other self, your twin flame, you're just watching a replay of stuff you did in a past life. Time is not linear. It's, again, go watch my video called What Are Twin Flames? It's really easy to figure this out, guys. Using known physical laws, not stuff that I made up. That's what's cool about that. We can know exactly what this is. You know, like what, what is a twin flame, right? It's easy to figure that out. But primarily what this video is about is, okay, well now what do I do, Kurt? Right, well, if your twin flame is your soul, why would you do anything mentally? The mind is just getting in the fucking way. All of its questions and concepts, thinking, emoting, and I'm not saying that's bad. <sighs> There's nothing for you to accomplish. There's no destination. That's the whole problem. The first thing I tell my paying coaching students is that this is a paradox. I've got this thing and I've got this thing and it doesn't make any sense. How can these two things coexist? But they do. It's a paradox. It's dichotomy. So. Is this a process? Do you feel like you're changing? Yes. But after you're done changing, you you say to yourself, wait a minute. I, I was never anything else than what I am now. I was always this. It's the other that I was not. The ego. This belief that I'm separate. Separate? Separation? There is no separation. It's a complete illusion of the mind and of emotion. It implies that there is other. And you're left feeling, yes, very peaceful, very zen, to the point where I can't even answer some freaking emails. <laughs> I do find it very distracting in a good way. And to be honest with you, the emails is what's distracting. Or making this video, like I had to make myself make this video. Because I'm just being all the time. I'm just being. 
existing. The mind is doing or not doing. Thing nothing, do not do. Yin yang. That's the whole problem is you're trying to get somewhere with this. Guys, you already are your twin flame. You literally are them. There's nothing for you to do or accomplish. And the deeper you go there into that energetic realization that there is nothing to do or accomplish, that's when your twin flame comes back. That's when the running and chasing stops. And the mind is going, oh, that's how I do that, right? Doing, accomplishing, becoming, Trying to accomplish is the whole problem. That's why twin flame stages and all the stupid twin flame mythology on the internet is slowing you down because it's telling you that you already are not. The truth of you is that you are now. And you don't need to access that. You are that. But there's an illusion that controls you the illusion of control itself, the ego mind. Like I'm always telling you guys, get started. Read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Watch the Samadhi movie. S-A-M-A-D-H-I, Samadhi. Part one, start with part one. Watch that first. Don't skip around. That's how you get your twin flame to stop running. This is a remembrance that you already are and that there's nothing to accomplish. There's just the pure and simple being of self, your true nature beyond the body and beyond the mind. That's your twin flame. And that's all there is. Thanks for watching.